Here's the smooches, honey. Love you. Up and under. Every once in a while, I like to go do mic things. And today is going to be one of those days. Um, Carrie's editing. And so that kind of leaves me with nothing to do. So today, we go do something nerdy. gonna go climb this hill up here. There's a half mile trail up to a little waterfall. We're at 9,000 feet and we have to climb. It's only a half mile but it's like a uphill climb a lot of the way. We're gonna do something called Parks on the Air. The ham radio operators all know about this but for either you, use it, you that don't what it is it's a uh, it's a way to kind of get people motivated to do ham radio. So what we do is we go to different parks that are on a list. And this list is created by an organization called Parks on the Air. And you go to this park and set up your radio and then you try to talk to people. Now, on the other end of things, you put a little note up on their website that you're going to do something super cool like this today and then they know you're there they know what frequency to look for you on that's important and then hopefully if the conditions are good a whole bunch of people will try to contact you and then this, this organization gives out awards for doing stuff like this and it's actually kind of fun and if you're hammered you're nerdy like me it's just kind of fun to talk to somebody in michigan on a radio that's not much more powerful than like a police radio, except I can talk to across the country or sometimes across the world when conditions are great. But this is where we're going to Zapata Falls. Are you guys ready for this? Let's do this. Oh. So we're at 9,000 feet. My backpack has <clears throat> a big battery in it, which probably weighs in the range of 20 pounds. Oh man, I'm getting smoked. Along with the radio, antenna, all the good stuff. And now, whew, we gotta get up there. But being at 9,000 feet is no joke. So I'm stalling my air. I'm never one to sit still. Like going to a beautiful place and then just sitting down, that's kind of not my thing. I usually go there with some kind of mission in mind, like fishing or something, photography, whatever. And this today, it's ham radio. So let's go activate this fuck this place. <laughs> Gotta get those 10,000 steps so my watch will be proud of me. <laughs> I think we reached it. Fantastically cooler right here. Like very noticeably cooler right here. Oh. If you want to see the falls, you have to walk up and uh, do some boulder hopping and such. I think I need to do over there. And that's probably get me to fall. Alright. Very spectacular. I love it. You can really hear it now. This is rushing. You can feel the wind coming from it. Well, I guess we cross again. Everything's a little bit wet here. I can feel the slightest mist. I think we're in for something amazing. Look at this little grotto. So cool, man. Ready for this? Check it out. That's 
That's pretty awesome, guys. Beautiful place to come. Worth the hike, even with a heavy backpack on. Now, you need to go back, and set up for some ham radio action. That's right. I'll tell you what, guys, zero complaints. That place is, is pretty epic. I would say it goes up about 30 feet, and uh, it's actually quite chilly back there from the mist and the wind. So it, it, it's probably about 75 degrees outside back out here. And, uh, but back there, I'd put it closer to 60, 55, something like that. It was actually a little chilly, I was surprised. Let's do some ham radio action now. Activate the park from the reason it's here. That's what I like to do. I feel like if I just go to a park and sit in the parking lot and activate it, that I'm not, I, I feel like I've cheated myself. I would be cheating myself out of exercise I'd be cheating myself out of the experience of the park if I just didn't go right to the reason the park is there and uh, and activate it. And so that's exactly why I'm all the way up here with a backpack full of heavy radio gear. We're going to go a little bit out of the way here so that we can uh, activate this in a place that doesn't disturb a bunch of people. Well, I think I just figured out where we're gonna activate this. We gotta go to the top of the waterfall. That's where we're activating at. Let's do this. This is my first full view of the Great Sand Dunes here in Colorado. They're about, that's about 10 miles from here. It looks closer, but it's not. Boy, it looks like a real huge climb to the top of that. I was threatening Carrie that I was gonna climb to the top of that and do an activation. Pretty daunting now that I'm looking at that. I mean, climbing a hill on, on rock and grit like this is one thing. Climbing a hill in pure sand dunes where your feet just collapse into the sand, that's another thing. I think we're almost there though. I don't hear any water yet, but that could change if you right over this rise. <sighs> cool little grove of aspens here. Awesome, it's so beautiful up here. Well, Ugh. This is it. You can hear water rushing down below us. Ooh, stood up too fast at 10,000 feet. Ah. Got a little spins there. <laughs> we'll get on the radio and see if we can activate this spot. I forgot to spot myself on that website I was telling you about. Normally you'd go on there and you'd set up a setup saying you're gonna be somewhere. So now I'm gonna do this the old fashioned way where I'm gonna get on the radio and I'm gonna say, is anybody there? It's, it's called CQ for all you non-ham people. CQ, CQ means, hey, anybody, anybody looking to talk? Hopefully we'll get somebody and then they can spot me on the POTA website, Parks on the Air website. And then, uh, then hopefully let's get a pileup going where people just wanna talk. And we'll get this park activated in like an hour. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, Kilo 1, November Golf Zulu. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, Kilo 1, November Golf Zulu at Kilo 9600, Zapata Falls. CQ Poda, Kilo 1, November Golf Zulu, parks on the air. CQ parks on the air, with C6 Bravo Kilo Mike at Kilo 3432, standing by. Kilo 1, November Golf Zulu. QSL, this is also Parks on the Air. This is uh, uh, Kilo 9600 at Zapata Falls. Can I get your call again? I copied the uh, Kilo 9600. My call is Whiskey 6 Bravo Kilo Mike. Whiskey 6 Bravo Kilo Mike. Park number 3432, QSL. That's QSL. Hey, I was wondering, I'm going to be over at about uh, uh, 14235. You think you can spot me? I, my, I don't have any signal on my phone and I can't spot myself. And 14235. I will go over there and spot you right now. You're a good man, sir. I got you about 5'7 here. I'm uh, 20 watts on a Zygu with a uh, homemade vertical up and uh, hiked up in the mountains to get this call. Uh, very cool, very cool. Well, uh, I'll spot you and uh, good luck on the activation. 
73 Sue, you're a good man. Thank you very much and uh, good luck on your activation as well, sir. And just like that, we finished activating the park. And uh, it's so cool. I talked to somebody on Ontario, Canada from up here with 20 watts. Like, how cool is that? And then it's just like the feeling that, like I talked so far on my own in such a remote place with a battery and a radio is just fascinating to me. It might be probably boring to you guys, but to me it's like, whew, that's cool. And uh, the other thing is, is that there's a lot of people out there in the radios, you know, that don't have the mobility they used to have anymore. And this gives them that opportunity to go out and, uh, you know, still, this is their hobby. This is what they do. They go in their little radio shack and they get on the radio and they talk to people like me out here in the middle of nowhere. And uh, so I like to talk to them a little bit and just kind of tell them where I'm at. So it kind of, it kind of gets the imagination going a little bit, right? So we're going to pack it up here. I don't have any contact with Carrie and we're trying to put a video out today. And when we do that, I kind of have to be uh, more available if she has some kind of technical difficulty. So I feel a little guilty to be in out of range right now, especially if she's tried to call me. So we're going to pack up, get back down the hill, make a contact with her on my little radio and uh, make sure everything's okay and then head back to the bus. We're all packed up here. That's where we did our little activation. And now we have to walk off this mountain. Another, that's probably two miles, but it's all downhill from here. Who cares? Let's do this. My hones, can you hear me? Over. I'm back, you guys. That's it, man. I just went out and activated Kilo 9600. It's a pot of falls. BLM recreation area in Alamosa, Colorado, just outside of. And we're back. Let's say hi to carry. Ooh, ah. Hi, Hans. Hi, Mahal. How was it? Um, boring. How was it for you? Exciting. Way more exciting. Tiring, actually. Really? All right, guys. We'll see you later. We've been traveling in the bus for six weeks now, and today we're hitting another national park. And this one is in a whole new section of our national park passport book, so we're gonna get to stamp a whole new page at Great Sand Dunes National Park in Colorado. Hi, how are you? Hello. Would you like a map? Yes, please. All right, welcome to Great Sand Dunes. Thank you. Pretty cool. God, that's big, man. All right, so the guy said that that dune right there There's people up there. is 794 feet. Look at the people up there. Do you see them? I see. Yeah, I do see and them. And there's people over there on this front dune people up there at the highest point. You know what's interesting? Like the tallest peak and the sand dunes are kind of the same color. They kind of are, huh? Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I don't know what page it's on. Maybe 83. <laughs> no, we're in Colorado now. We're in the yellow. Are we? Yeah. Oh, look at that. We sure are. Okay, first stamp on the yellow page. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, it's alright. You can still read it. Uh, can you? Great sand dunes. And my purse fell and hit. Oh, look what I just saw. Press penny souvenir. Oh, perfect. Oh, I hope I have porters. Alright, here it is, man. Do it. Oh, it's cute. You can see it good. I like it. There it is. That's pretty cute. Nice. Well, here we go. Here are my choices. You know, normally I go for the color ones, but honestly, this time, I actually really like this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
That's the one we're getting. It's kind of a smaller, simpler gift shop. The world's largest cat box right here in Colorado. And Mama Sita is missing out. I know. She could be just running around pooping everywhere. I know. It would be her so dream come scared. true. Oh no, you guys, I have terrible news. I just saw the first signs of fall up on the mountainside over here. Take a look. See that? See those leaves turning yellow? Yeah, not cool. It is barely the middle of September. It is way too early for that leaf color changing nonsense. I haven't had summer yet. I want my summer. <laughs> I'm about to go do nerdy stuff again. As usual. It's up there on the side of the mountain. I'm gonna give me some ham radio activation. Like I said in the last one, I gotta go get up there and experience it. And that means I'm gonna walk up onto those dunes and go up as high as my pack will let me. <laughs> yeah, Captain Crazy Sauce over here is carrying like 40 to 50 pounds on his back right now. Board wax. Somebody left board wax but there? But like, this is like the lost and found. Oh. It's like someone's drink bottle. Then over here is a quick connect for somebody's camera. And then over here is a hat. hat. It is the lost and found. And, and they get these little waxes for waxing up your sandboard. And there's not only water fountains for drinking, but uh, showers for washing off. That's a bad sign. <laughs> it's about to get crazy at Great National Sand Dunes Park. Wait, Great Sand Dunes National Park. This looks exactly like walking onto a beach, like 100%. This is just where all the beaches got their sand from. This is what's left. <laughs> They've been taking it out by the dump truck pulls for years. For years. It's all a conspiracy. <laughs> Everybody knows. <laughs> it is exactly like beach sand. It's actually really soft. Like river sand, is right? Your feet? No, it's not hot enough yet. Oh man, my, I can feel my calves already. We're on the flat stuff. Oh, you are going to die today. Probably. But if I do die, spread my ashes anywhere but here. <laughs> Three quarter mile walk just to the base of the dunes or something. I know, you guys, just from from where we parked over there to the base of the sand dunes, way farther than it looks, okay? It's an optical illusion. You're gonna be walking forever to get across this. Bye guys, I'm leaving Carrie behind and I'm heading up the mountain to my own Everest. <laughs> And so the adventure begins as we do another day of hills, except this time hills with sand. <sighs> Show you guys what we're up to. Now you might think I have aspirations for the top and you'd be terribly wrong. We're gonna go up to one of these shorter peaks and we're gonna activate this. Where is he? There he is. Holy smokes, he's already so far away and he's still at the very beginning of his hike. This is what we're dealing with. Until you get to a little path up a ridge line. Not so bad then. Oh, smoked. <laughs> he's stopping to socialize along the way. I have definitely combined cardio with leg day today. We're working at this. Okay, they're gonna see me crash and burn. Well, the good news is we'll have it for posterity. <laughs> All right. I wish I had brought one of those with me up here. Like all this work, I could have just sandboarded straight down in two seconds. Good run, man! You too! All right, Charlie Mike, here we go. Carrie's right down there sitting in that green patch by herself. 
There he is, the lone hiker. All by his little onesie up there on the side of the sand dunes. This is like 100% like walking in beach sand. It, it's like exactly the same thing, but they're climbing hill the entire time. And so for every step that you take, you probably lose three to four inches in every step. And, oh, just as you're going, you just, your mind, you just gotta let your mind wander off into different places because I just don't wanna think about like the lack of progress climbing this hill. We've definitely made some progress though. Oh, oh, feel the burn, Lord. We're coming up on our first fall summit right here. Oh. And then, I think I just have one more to go, but it looks like a steep one after that. You can kind of see the footprints going up it. Whew. Almost there. Oh, I think I found him. There he is. Keeps getting farther away and it's so difficult to find him on the camera screen. Look at that big giant hole right there. Like that thing would swallow an entire bus. And here we have the mating ritual of the North American bumblebee. <laughs> just kidding. I have no idea what that really is. I'm just filming it for National Schooly Graphic. Oh yeah. They're making sweet love. They're having a little rendezvous at the sand dunes. We're covering the last 30 feet right now to the summit of where we'll be activating from. It's proving to be a very tough 30 feet. But we're almost there. I wonder what it would have been like without the backpack. Oh, all right. Almost there, man. This is a spot right here. Carrie is like right there. There he is. He's, he went a little higher than he said he was gonna go, but I think he finally picked his spot to activate his parks on the air. valley where the sand dunes are right now it was so crazy and it happened so fast I couldn't film it but you guys it was definitely loud holy crap that was a trip Here it comes again. something you expect in a national park, but super cool. That F-16 was lower than us, going right through the valley right here where we we're standing. They flew, they were lower than us up here. We're only up like 250 feet right here, 300 feet at the most. Really epic. All right, we're about ready to turn on the radio here. We gotta spot ourselves real quick.
CQ Poda, CQ Poda, Kilo 1, November Golf Zulu at Kilo 0033, which is the great sand dunes of Colorado. We're halfway up the dunes here, totally portable in a backpack. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, Kilo 1, November Golf Zulu, standing by. November 1, Sugar Uniform Zulu. November 1, Sugar Uniform Zulu. I have you 5x9 at the Great Sand Dunes. We are up here on the dunes about halfway to the top, and we hiked up here with a backpack to get this contact. Roger, Roger. Well, it's nice to talk to you. You're a 5'9 beautiful signal coming into South Carolina today. Yeah, and I was curious. I wasn't really familiar with that park, uh, but when I saw the one sign, I always like to call Connecticut Station, so I thought maybe that's where you were. Seven, Oh, no, nope. it's just a silly van vanity sign, but uh, last name is King, so K1NGZ seemed appropriate. <laughs> roger, roger. Well, thanks for the, uh, the activation in the park, and uh, you have a great day in 73. Thank you very much. We worked hard for this one. We're, uh, we climbed a long way in sand. I bet you did. That's amazing. I'm going to go ahead and click on the park and take a look at it. Uh, thanks a lot, and you have a great day. You too. Kilo 1, November Golf Zulu, CQ Poda, CQ Poda at the Great Sand Dunes, Kilo 0033, uh, CQ Parks on the Air. Papa Indio, Charlie Bravo. Papa Indio Bravo, Papa Indio Bravo, give me that one. Roger, it's November 7, Papa Indio Bravo, you're a 5'9 in Northern California. Copy that, I got you about a 5'9 too, you're a little bit uh, robot sounding, but other than that, totally clear. Uh, thank you for the contact. QSL the 5 and 9, thank you for the activation. Whiskey X-Ray 6 Bravo, is that correct? Yeah, QSL Mike, uh, Bill here, Whiskey X-Ray 6 Bravo, 59 California, big signal. Uh, the QSB is in there, but when you're in, boy, you're, you're very, very loud from Colorado, over. Very good. Well, I'm up at uh, about 8,300 feet on the side of a sand dune. I literally hiked halfway up this sand dune to activate this park, so I wanted to experience this. Uh, great stuff. No, I always enjoy working uh, kind of odd things like that, you know, a summit on the air, parts on the air. So uh, good. Good on you. I know you got a big pile up, won't hold you, but uh, nice signal. 59 uh, near San Francisco, 7-3s from Whiskey X-Ray 6 Bravo. Thank you, Whiskey X-Ray 6 Bravo. Uh, 73s to you too. QRZ, Kilo 1, November Golf Zulu out here in the Great Sand Dunes. All right, guys, that was a solid activation of Kilo 0033 up here in the sand dunes. And now it's time to go down. It should be a lot faster. <laughs> Let's do this. I gotta pack up. And that's it. We're out of here. Time to go. Bye, you guys. See ya. <laughs> Look at this. Cutting new snow here. Cutting new powder. <laughs> I couldn't stop it. That was funny as shit. <laughs> ah, at long last, here comes our weary National Park ham radio activator at last. Hi, Mahones. How's it going? Move along. Some guy in Saskatchewan, Canada was like, I hear you're like your next door. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Did you get me up there on the hill? Yeah. We're very far and distant, like a small and blurry speck. But oh, here, I gotcha. can you see? What? Let's see. I don't know if you can see on camera, there's a squiggly that goes down the face of it. That was me. I just started running down the face of that thing in like a swallow. Oh my God, that's I crazy. Burned in. You burned in, you fell? Yeah, but it was funny because you can, like I was running downhill, but it wasn't winding me. And so I, I went a lot further than I thought I would. Oh. I must've covered like two or 300 yards. Cause like, gravity was assisting you? Yeah, I'm just running down the hill like I'm kind of nothing. You got a full gravity assist. Yeah. Those F-16s, I'm like, they were lower than me. You know, and she goes, oh, that's cool. And then she finally goes, 
It was my brother-in-law. We knew they were coming. Oh. <laughs> brother-in-law flies. Oh, that's so cool. Right? I wish they would have told us beforehand right. so I could have been ready. I know, huh? Ha <laughs> ha